Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And as you guys know, there's really no indoor basketball courts open as of lately because of what's going on. I hope everyone's doing good. I hope everyone's safe. Stay safe out there, guys. So I've been playing outside a lot and there's a park that I've been going to with some friends. Just playing a little bit of half court. Really haven't been playing full court, which kind of sucks. And the courts that I play on, like, they only have half of the court available. The other half is closed off for some reason that like adding one more per, or like two more people to play full court is more dangerous than actually playing like fours or threes. I don't really understand it, but you know, that's just how it is. These are some of my favorite shoes that I like to play in outdoors. And uh, I guess some of them are older and some of them are newer. This is just my list of shoes that I've been playing in and I really uh, enjoyed playing in these shoes. And for me, outdoor shoes, like what I want from an outdoor shoe is a little bit different than what I want from an indoor basketball shoe. And for me, obviously the first thing is cushion. If you're ever playing on the indoor court, the wood actually like absorbs some of your impact, you know, it kind of bends and stuff like that. So you don't feel as much like impact on your feet, your knees, your joints. But then playing outside, you feel it, you feel the difference, right? And, and then especially if you heel strike or something, it's hard. So a uh, cushion is definitely something that, you know, I really, really want. Uh, as opposed to like an indoor court, like for example, the precisions, the precisions are okay. They're pretty nice cushion, but it, it's more just a responsive type of cushion that has okay impact protection. Like I would be fine playing with that shoe indoors, but outdoors, not as much. So a cushion is very, very important to me. Another thing is durability, especially the outsole. Obviously the outsole, you don't really want to ruin your shoes. They have a really soft rubber. That's why the outsole, the rubber needs to be hard and, and, and durable. And not only that, but I do toe drags when I play. So a little bit of fuse or that toe box area having a little bit of reinforcement is important to me. Obviously not everyone toe drags, but I do. So that's just how it is. And also another thing that was kind of important, not, not super important, but it was just something that was like bothersome to me is ventilation. And um, it's it's been super hot. <laughs> it's been like 90 degrees, 95. I think one day it was like 98 degrees when I was playing, it was insane. So uh, I definitely felt my feet burning up. So if the shoe has good ventilation, that's a plus. Uh, if it has bad ventilation, it's kind of sucks. So anyways, these are my top shoes that I like to play in. I think I have uh, five or six shoes. So let's get started off with my number six. And that will be the WoW 8. This is the Leaning WoW 8, which is way of way. This is Dwayne Wade's last signature shoe, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure if they're gonna continue his line because he retired. Um, but this shoe is really, really nice. The one thing is though, it's hot. There's not a lot of ventilation, like no ventilation actually in my shoe. And my foot was just burning up. But other than that, I mean, it's supportive, it's sturdy. The boom cushioning, which it kind of looks like boost, I guess, is incredible. Impact protection is really, really good. And also you get a nice little bounce as well as a nice little compression. The traction is really good. Like most of the time, like all the shoes that I've tried have pretty or really good traction on the outdoor court that I play on, you know, with that rough tennis court surface. Uh, but some haven't been good, which is weird because you would think all shoes would have good traction on that type of surface, right? But the, this was good and the rubber is super hard, so it'll be very, very durable. And also another thing that's good for me, the outsole kind of like wraps around the toe area, which is weird, I've never seen this before, but that also acts like a toe guard. So uh, when you do toe drags, you don't get any holes or anything in this type of material. And also this material is made of Cordura fabric, which is supposed to be very, very durable. So the issue is really, really good. Just watch out for the ventilation and the price. The price is pretty expensive for this. All right, moving on to number five is the KD Tray 5.8. Uh, this shoe is incredible. Ventilation is way better than the Wild 8. It's actually really good. My my feet, they're, like, it still gets hot because it is hot outside and like the concrete is really, really hot, but it was way better than the Wild 8. And the cushioning's not bad. Uh, the renewed cushioning does bottom out and it's pretty stiff now, which kind of sucks. But impact protection is still pretty good. Uh, on hard impacts, it's like my feet didn't feel the best, but it wasn't terrible. And of course, the traction is really good as well. The rubber is very hard. This should last you a good amount of time if you're playing on the outdoor court or even on the indoor court. And uh, one thing that kind of sucks though is the 
uh, the durability here. I mean, there is a little bit of fuse here, but it would be nice if it was more in the middle here because I guess it is ripping where the fuse is, which is kind of good. I also have a little bit of ripping here where the material is exposed. And the materials are very, very thin, like super thin. So uh, just be careful on that if you do toe drags. That's just how it is. And the shoes, like 90 bucks on sale for like 70, 60 bucks now for some of the colorways anyway. So this shoe is really, really nice. All right, moving on to number four. This is a pretty old shoe. It's a CP 3.12, but this shoe is really, really nice. Uh, as you guys know, the material is incredible. My Probably one of my favorite materials on a shoe out of any price range. Like this line, it is very comfortable. The ventilation, it's, it's okay. It's a little hot in the shoe. It's definitely not as hot as the Wild 8, but, but it's definitely not as good as a KD358. So I guess somewhere in between. And um, it's light, the traction is very, very good. Uh, the rubber, I don't really have any issues. It, it is fraying just a little bit. But that's just rubber fraying, that's, that's what rubber outsoles do, especially on the outdoor court, right? But for the most part, it's very durable. I didn't really have any issues with sliding. It squeaks very loud. Actually, all these shoes squeak really loud on an outdoor court. And the cushioning is pretty nice. It's not the best. It's, not, it's definitely not as good as the Wild 8, but it's it's not horrible. I mean, this fire one is pretty soft and you have a nice four foot zoom unit. So this is definitely a solid choice. All right, I have a top three for me and uh, they're really, really hard for me to pick. I love all of them for outdoor use. All right, and my number three is this shoe and it's a shoe that I got recently, but I've been playing in it and it's super nice for outdoor use. It's only 80 bucks or 83 bucks and you're getting a great quality shoe for a very cheap price. And the traction, just one thing about the traction is that it doesn't seem, or it's not durable. Like I have, I have some nubs ripping off a little bit. It's fraying. I don't know why they did this. Uh, usually they don't. Like like this company Anta, they make very durable outsoles, but for some reason they made it super thin in this shoe. I mean, it's definitely not as bad as I thought it would be. It's still not as good as I guess like the, uh, these other shoes, right? Um, the traction is really good as well. You're not really gonna slip or anything on the outdoor court. The cushion is something that I really like though. It's full length, a flash foam. There's a lot of compression, it's soft. So impact protection is really, really good. Even on a super hard outdoor court. It also has a little bit of a bounce, just a tiny bit. And the materials are very, very well ventilated. Not only that, but it's super soft. It's a this really nice fly knit material, or not fly knit, that's Nike, but just a very nice knit material. One thing I would have liked to see in the shoe is a, is a little bit of fuse in the toe area though. You know, uh, durability, especially here, I have a little bit of ripping, you know, because I do toe drags. But other than that, this is a great, great option. And the price also is a very, very good reason to use this as an outdoor shoe. All right, my number two is the Anta KT5 Low. This shoe is incredible. The outsole is a lot more durable and the rubber is a lot harder than the Splash. Uh, sorry, I forgot to say this, the name of this shoe. It's, it's called the Anta KT Splash 2. And this is the Anta KT5 Low. Uh, but yeah, the traction is incredible and also very durable. It's using the same exact cushioning setup as the Splash 2. It's using a full length, a flash foam. It's a little different as, as far as like uh, where the caging is and all that. But I would say the KT Splash 2, it feels a little bit softer though. I, I don't know what it is, but it feels a little bit softer and there's a little bit more compression from this. But they're still very, very nice. Impact protection is really good. And the knit is very, very nice. Very well ventilated as well. You have a lot of ventilation holes here in the toe area. And the material is relatively thin. And also the same issue with the KT5 low. You don't really have any fuse or anything to protect you from toe drags. But other than that, this is a great shoe. And it's only like 115, 120 bucks. Also a shoe that's very, very good for the money. All right, last but not least is the new Balance Omnis. And uh, I love playing in the shoe as well. This this is probably one of my favorites to play in out of all of these. It's pretty hard to choose between these three for me, but I would have to say uh, this is a close first. The traction is incredible. The rubber is very hard, so it's durable. There's just a little bit of fraying here uh, where the highway area is, but you know, like I said, that's normal. And then the cushioning with this full length fuel cell is nice. There's a nice bounce. It's not too soft or anything, but impact protection is still good and uh, you feel low to the ground and all that. And the material is nice. Uh, the material, like it doesn't really have any fuse, but if you feel it, uh, they've kind of fused a little bit of like, it's kind of like a rubberized fuse type of material. You can't really tell. It looks just like knit. 
But then they have that here in the toe area, obviously for durability and reinforcement if you do toe drags. So uh, that makes it a little bit more durable as well. And the material, like the knit, is a little bit thicker than these two. One thing that kind of sucks is the ventilation though. Like the only type of ventilation you're getting is from, I guess like where the tongue is. And that is just super well ventilated. But everywhere else is kind of like this thicker knit and it's pretty hot. But other than that, this is definitely one of my favorites to play in. But anyways, that's just my list on my favorite outdoor shoes. Uh, right now. If you guys want to cop any of these, I'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.